look who I discovered at Aero India. Uh, former chairman of ISR, Dr. Somnath, and uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, today uh, all of you know that uh, very significant announcement that we heard on Twitter today morning from USA. He is now been elected as a member of a very prestigious institution uh, called the National uh, Inst uh, NA National um, Institution of Engineers. Right, you know, uh, in US. And congratulations, sir. On that note, let's take off. I saw you visiting many stalls, hardcore defense stalls. Uh, whether it was HL, some new startups, and some MSME supporting India's uh, program like Anand Technologies, where we are sitting, uh, early bird, or uh, you know, supporting India's aeronautical program. You went to Amka, interact with the team HL. Uh, so, as a space scientist, you also seem to have a lot of interest in defense. See, all of us are doing the similar you know, job of building the aerospace ecosystem in this country. Uh, whether it is rockets, aircrafts or uh, defense equipments, they all share the same core technology of knowledge of flights. Uh, some fly a little faster, some fly a little slower and the goals of each of them may differ. But then the passion is same everywhere. That's why I am able to see the connect in all of them. Right, so I uh, just want to also now ask you, now you have retired, it's been uh, not even a month. How is that life? See, in ISRO, uh, we continue to be pa passionate about what we have been doing and we always try to connect whether we are within ISRO or outside. So I observe what is happening and I also would like to connect with the industries, startups, uh, academia in many ways. So that connect continues and I also have a lot of uh, talking assignments uh, with the mentoring people and all of this continue. Even uh, now. You seem to be a poster boy for not just uh, uh, young, uh, you know, uh, people from all walks of life, but especially startups. A lot of people whom I follow on LinkedIn, for all of them you are mentor. But how do you find time to uh, devote to all these people? You seem to have visited at least them once or some interactions. Uh, isn't it too taxing? Say once something is very passionate and loving, you know, we don't really find it taxing. Many of the time, much of the time, where when we, even uh, when I was a director of Liquid Propulsion Center and this VSSC, I had a strong link with many of the startups who were coming into space sector. Uh, they needed the much needed encouragement and support and say, yeah, somebody looks at it, uh, the work which they are doing and say it's really good. That's good enough for them to you know work on it. It is their innovative idea and I kept the connect throughout while I went through the ISRO journey. While I was chairman also, there was so much of support that we derived from ISRO system, Department of Space, both in terms of policy and also actions that we can do the ground realities. Uh, I think they know the connect very well that I was able to help them in whatever way that I can within the governmental system. Absolutely. And, yeah. Great, sir. Uh, I just want to have, just, I just, now let me just, I just note down some three questions. I know you, you have to leave. Uh, this is the second time I am asking you this in the last one year. Yeah. Space Vision 2047. I know that uh, when I asked you last, you were the chairman, uh, perhaps uh, you didn't want to give uh, too much of details. Space Vision 2047, I know from sources of the highest, the government, that you have contributed so much, which uh, the Prime Minister himself got inspired. And several meetings there, and you know, that document came out primarily because of the input and the confidence the government had in you. What is that? Can you sh at least share a little bit about that now? Uh, it's a very quantum jump in the in the history of the space program that government came out with a long-term plan of at least 25 years uh, down line what we should do in the space program. Uh, and you know, the space program started, we were talking about applications and helping the common people. But after having established certain capability, now we are looking at exploration as a major theme. It has many elements to it. Uh, it in includes the launcher capability enhancement. It is it, it includes the human space flight ex expansion. It also includes the planetary exploration like Moon, Mars, Venus, and others. Uh, the scientific talent increase in the in the in the country. The inspirational part of it for youngsters and people who want to take up science, science engineering and uh, technology as the mainstream. 
So for a country like India who is aspiring to become a world leader in science and technology, we cannot be left behind in any of the domains of science and core science and technology. That's why there is a space mission is essential part of the, the vision for Amritkal. <coughs> Prime Minister said that in 2047, when we celebrate the 100th uh, uh, year of our independence, the, the it should uh, cover expansion program, you know, achieving certain dominance uh, and the, the prime position in many sectors. And space has shown that it is possible for this country to remain uh, a top leader. And that's why there is a huge support coming from government. And I would like to tell you the space mission essentially contains expansion program of our launcher capability, exploration capability, planetary mission capability, human space flight capability, and leading to even landing on the moon of an Indian by 2040. So we have a uh, launcher development program, big or launch, launch level program. We have a space station, part of the station development program. We have series of Chandrayaan mission programs uh, and international cooperation also while we go ahead in that direction. All so, right. So you said that uh, series of Chandrayaan programs. So we were, at one level, we only heard till Chandrayaan 3 and then suddenly 4 and 5. Again, I understand the kind of confidence yeah. the government had in your leadership and your team, the way you built and you, uh, you know, uh, carry forward that mission with precision. Four and five now. Yes, the confidence uh, of the Chandrayaan 3 is really phenomenal. Uh, everyone is now looking at India that we can do such missions frugally, successfully. Though we had a debacle in Chandrayaan 2, we were able to overcome and then achieve the precise landing in Chandrayaan 3 and do scientific uh, exploration of moon very effectively. So that's why we have now a program, Chandrayaan 3, which is to go to moon and bring, come back and bring samples, essentially as a precursor of our capability development for human space flight to moon. Then Chandrayaan 5, which is a, a joint mission with uh, JAXA, Japan, to develop uh, a lander which will go to moon and land at the, exactly the south pole to deploy a heavy rover which will explore the moon for almost 100 days plus, launched on their launcher vehicle. So these two missions also I, I could develop along with my teammates, propose, get approval from the government and work has already started. Amazing. Uh, and the final question, sir, uh, my favorite uh, mission uh, because of uh, the defense uh, uh, link there, yeah. the Human Seas program. And, uh, you know, amazing it is the way it is progressing. Uh, you know, can you just talk a bit about the direction now that program has taken now? The Human Space program, we had a very ambitious plan to start with. But the whole whole point was that the, the definition of the program was defined only one, for one mission. Now we have rephrased it. Uh, it's not just one mission that we are only trying to show that we can actually fly a human to space and bring them back safely, but a continued program where humans will continuously fly uh, to space. We will also establish outpost called the Bharati Andhra Station and there we will go on a regular basis. We will create a laboratory out there in space for microgravity and space-based research. We will also connect with the research community in the ground, in, the, in, in this country and outside to conduct global research there in material science, bioastronautics, medical synthesis, uh, maybe in many, many new domains. So, human space flight again leading to even man, man mission to moon as well. So, it's a long journey that has been now defined. Even before we accomplish the first mission of the Gaganyan, looking at the progress of the work that we have done, which is very complex, government is very happy to expand it. I think this is the very first time, even before we accomplish the first step, uh, the subsequent steps are now unveiled. Right, amazing. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, I know you are looking at the watch, you need to go. So, uh, you know, I saw a lot of kids coming, running, and a lot of people want to take your autograph, and you have given your cards to everyone. Uh, so, uh, you know, do you get time to reply to all these? And how, like, you know, how is the post chairmanship? You know, how are your people connecting? See, when I was uh, holding the office of the Secretary and uh, Department of Space and Chairman, I had no opportunity to connect you over social media platform uh, on a personal level. Uh, all I did was uh, connecting through the ISRO handles that was available through the giving you the information what was needed. But now I can connect you through my personal accounts of the social media in Facebook, uh, in Twitter, uh, as well as in Instagram. Oh, so okay. you can you can contact me in my email, contact Dr. Somanath at gmail.com is, is going to be contact Dr. Somanath at uh, gmail.com. Right. You can also uh, uh, connect with me through Instagram through Somanath Speak 
uh, handle, so speak, speak. Uh, speak handle. Okay. Yeah. And then also we have the Facebook account, uh, Somna Speaking okay. uh, Facebook account. So through both of these the page, you can contact and connect. Uh, okay. Possibly I will organize some interactive sessions with the right. kids and the into space on those years and science and those years to ask the questions and answer sessions. Maybe so, you should have some weekly yeah. one session, monthly one session. Yeah, but but then let us see. I All think right. Uh, right now, uh, right now I am uh, no just planning part of right, it. Right. Okay. Uh, li- depending upon the enthusiasm that is visible in youngsters, it's very important. I should do that, and uh, possibly I'll come back yeah. to you and declare it. That is a great news. So you heard those social media handles. I'll try to write it from him and try to pin it here. Thank you so much, sir. The the defense side of Dr. Swamnath, we could get a glance. That's Dr. Swamnath for you. Day uh, 3 of Aero India, Aero India officially, the business day has ended, Dr. Somnath is still here, it's almost 6 6 o'clock now, we'll get back to you with another story on Tamak Media House, thank you, Tricolor Pindihar, Jai Hind. Jai Hind, thank you.